and we are live. Hello everyone, welcome back to Lionscape's channel. The channel where we talk about creativity, where we talk about creatives, where we talk about art and the struggles that you find on the way. Yeah, so for those who are here joining us for the first time, welcome, my name is Sonia and this is Gasper. Hey there everybody. And um, today we have a show called Feedback Tuesday. Oh, this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a couple of shows. The other one is called Creative Monday. Every Monday you can tune in. Uh, and it's the show where we push you out of your comfort zone creatively. But today we're looking at your works that you send us and share with us and are giving feedback. Yeah. Okay, so uh, before we start, Share with us how are you? Uh, are you doing fine on this great Tuesday? Um, we are also doing fine, have a lot to do right now, but still, it's nice to be with you here. Um, so I'm glad that you could join us as well. Yeah, it's always it's always great to be in these sessions and to see you all join and also see everyone who watched this on replay give us feedback. So thanks for that. Yeah. And I would suggest that we start, but before we do, we would like to give out a heart. Oh, do we? Okay. Yeah, and this one goes to Luis. Thank you very much for your support. You are amazing. Thank you for showing up for these live streams. That means a lot and you're amazing. Thank you. Yeah, um, Luis is one of our um, followers. Um, she's been with us for a while and um, many of you have been with us for a while and it's great to see you come back all the time and um, you know see how you progress, the work you share. Um, it's a pleasure to ask the questions you send us so yeah, do that as much as you can. Okay so I suggest that we that we start our feedback part. All right so I'm switching over to Photoshop it's a program in which I will be looking at your work. And yep, here it is, the first thing we are commenting on today, Sonia. Mm -hmm. um, so how this works is basically we first talk about it and then uh, we try to give feedback. So what do you think? It's like a nice kind of a chapel on a nice hill. That's mm -hmm. the motive. What is it? Is it watercolor? It's a good question. I think it could be, you know, it could be also uh, colored pencils. Or both. With both. With both, yeah. It could be both. Wait, I can zoom in for everybody to see. Um, quite a nice thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, we have a nice pyramid or triangular composition. Mm -hmm. You know, this is, you see how the eyes are basically led up to the top. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we can build on that. I think this pyramid composition could be even uh, could be improved even further. That's one thing, and I was also thinking about what if we would add an, something in the sky, like some birds or something similar, which would just fill the void. I mean, mm. we don't want to add mm. like big trees and stuff like that mm -hmm. because we have a lot of green going on. But still, we could add some small things that would make everything a bit more diverse, not yeah. so static, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. we have an object placed mm -hmm. in the middle, mm -hmm. um, and that would make it a bit more lively. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so let's add three objects here, maybe some birds or clouds. Mm -hmm. And what I was thinking about this pyramid is like we need to lead the eye. So this is a good tip for right. everybody uh, when you're doing a pyramid composition. So try to lead the eye to the top. So I would say, you know, we need to start somewhere and then kind of, you know, let the eye wander up there. So we'll continue something here, I guess, from the bottom. So we have a whole okay. kind of spiral. I would say you start and I will give you a good minute. Give me a good minute? I'm going to give you a good minute. All right. So let's go. Okay. So I would say let's uh, kind of uh, maybe make, create this uh, kind of path mm -hmm. here. Um, that uh, will make a curve right here. You know, a bit more highlighting um, like that. So we have a feeling that this is kind of continuing. So this is one thing. If 
we're gonna do right now. So these are just some stairs. Yeah, and then um, maybe something like this to highlight the path. Okay, so we got our path now a bit, you know, highlighting the or leading the eye. And now let's go for the clouds. Mm -hmm. Like Sonia said, let's take a uh, you know, let's make let's make some clouds. So I'll, I'll take some white and try to. Maybe I'll get this maybe too much. Okay, you have twenty seconds to go. Okay, so one cloud. I said like another cloud here and a third cloud there. Uh, let's see what I can come up with in such a short time. Mm -hmm. But I think yeah, I think three, three two, uh, one. Finish. Okay, boom. All right. Okay. <laughs> this is it. Let's see what I've done. So this is the before, and uh, this is what we said we're going to do, and this is the after. Boom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, for sure I can see the difference in the sky, and also the, the thing that leads the eye looks a bit better. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, keep up the good work. Yeah, so I hope you can all and take something with you um, with that composition tip right there. Ooh la la! Well, we have a fine lotus flower um, being held by a very delicate hand. This is like a, basically like an ink drawing. It's almost like a, you know, it's like an illustration. It's a... Uh, um, Looks a bit flat, it kind of has this comic style outline. Um, yeah, I like the composition basically. You know, we have this our point of interest. You know, point this is also something you can everyone can learn something from. So, your point of interest, this lotus flower, is on, uh, on the top, on the intersection of the top. And left third, so this mm -hmm. is uh, like a rule of thirds. It's it's nice diagonal composition. This is quite well done. What would you say, Sonia? Do you have any comments? Well, I like the outline. It looks like it's it's a graphic that could be used for tattoo or something, mm -hmm. you know, or it's ready to be uh, colored in with watercolors or something, oh, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, true. So um, I. I must say I like it quite a lot. Mm -hmm. Maybe I would add a bit more shading on the areas that that would create a bit more depth. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. As you as you also emphasized, like yeah, yeah. with the circle, um, yeah, true. so that we build the diagonal as well. Sure. You know, yeah. Also, if these are like droplets, you know, they they now right now it looks like. It does look like water, so I think maybe if we want to have a few droplets falling off, because it looks like it was, you know. Um, pulled from the from the water, so mm -hmm. maybe we can um, simulate that a little bit more by emphasizing the droplets. And then I think this shade here uh, shouldn't be there because right now it looks like it's being held against the wall, but we don't have this feeling in other parts of the drawing. So I think we should delete that. No, I don't get it. But you want to say, but but maybe you just go go ahead. Yeah. This shading here. Yeah, okay. I'll, uh, yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay. Yeah. I'll just start with it, so... Yeah, you have a minute and a half. Okay, so let's remove the shading, actually. Because, uh, yeah, like we said, it looks like it's being held against the wall. So no shading around, just on the object itself. Okay, now let's go to the object itself and uh, do some more shading. Mm -hmm. uh, so you said like here probably, right? Then we would have some shading here. We would have some shading here. Like I mean, it could you could the lotus flower in itself could use a little bit more like detailing, I would say. And uh, um, yeah, but apart from that, let's do the droplets. <laughs> yeah, right now what that I'm noticing is just that the the pinky finger it's it's also pretty big, right? It's a pretty fat pinky finger. Yeah, yeah. you're right. He must be very fortunate in, in his or her life. It must mean something. You know? It must mean something. Yeah. A fat pinky <laughs> means good fortune <laughs> in, uh, I don't know, which area of life. Yeah. But uh, it is quite fat. Okay, you have 
10 minutes to go. Seconds, sorry. Okay, yeah, I think I'm done, like maybe mm -hmm. a bit less here. And yeah, yeah, let's let's check it out. This was a bit much, yeah, like that. Okay, so this was the before, and now this is the after. Boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Okay. I like her, the dark her spot even draws more attention to the lotus, so. Mm. Okay, let's continue. It's definitely a strong pinky finger. It's as if like you would do exercises, you know, just yeah. do pull-ups on a, on a pinky finger. Uh, okay. So, by the way, if it's your first time joining us on this channel, um, we would really appreciate it if you uh, subscribed and uh, if you gave us some feedback. This is always something that helps us. Yeah. Because we try to find out how to help you, our audience, the best. And how, what, how we, you know... Um, come up with our future videos is, you know, by listening to the questions and, you know, struggles and problems you have on your creative path. Mm -hmm. um, so feel free to ask whatever is bothering you and we'll do our best to help you. Okay, we've got a portrait. Um, it looks like an anime style drawing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, so... What would you say? <laughs> okay, yeah, um, I would. Okay, um, in the breast area, I think the the second breast should be also a bit more emphasized. I would also uh, move the the name signature on the edge, so it's not placed in the middle uh, of the painting. And then I also noticed the background, the perspective is a bit off, uh, the boat part, you know, it's not like that, that the boat is just falling down in the background. So, um, and that's something that I would, that I would adjust. So, you know? I think this is a good point. Like, maybe would, you know, instead of kind of uh, doing any corrections on it, um, I would have make you a suggestion, dear author. Um, do look at, before you go into a lot of details, because you took a lot of time with shading of this, and I like that, you know, look, you did a lot of, uh, you know, this is kind of looks three-dimensional, so there is uh, stuff there. Go back to the basics of drawing anatomy. Like, mm -hmm. if you like drawing people, go to the basics of drawing Good anatomy. Advice. Yeah, you know, like, learn about how this, uh, maybe I'll take a yellow so you can see better what I'm doing. Like, you know, how a, a torso would be here, you know, like, her breasts would be here. Um, then the shoulders would be, you know, more, you know, the left, the right shoulder, or the left one is on our left, you know, is much lower. You know, this, this hand is quite nicely done, by the way, so I like that. So, you know, so you, like, learn about this kind of body positions, and it will help you if you start with sketches, you know. Don't, don't think about uh, um, doing it detailed out. Just start with the sketches, and you'll see that... Um, this will help you later on with, uh, um, with what you do, you know? Like, I've just I just removed what you uh, drew underneath and already, like, it feels a bit more natural. Um, and you can do that. You can find a lot of tutorials online to anat uh, about anatomy. And I would suggest, yeah, just make messy sketches. With everything that's quite hard, like drawing people figures, start with a lot of messy sketches. And just do sketches, 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 copy people, don't try to draw from imagination in the beginning and um, try to and try to get that anatomy feeling right. Because when you walk, draw figures or portrays, if it's a little bit off, it's visible right away, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. And be patient. I know it's probably not as impressive if you just do sketches as if you do a full color rendering, but I think it's a better tactic to improve. Okay. The plant. Amazing plant. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is monochromatic uh, kind of drawing. Also digital. Um, and yeah, I, I think we can try to make it a bit more colorful, in a sense, rich, you know. 
that's something that's missing um, from from my perspective. But the thing is also that, for example, very often when we get this um, this kind of drawings, we don't get your um, explanation behind it. So if that would be something that would be like a tile in your bed, uh, bathroom, probably that would work fine. But if this is something that you would use for, I don't know what, what kind of graphic, this could be maybe a bit plain. So it, it, it really is important to know why are you using it. This is a good point. Yeah, so if I would just look at it as it is and want to have it pop more a bit, I would probably play with, a bit with the colors. Yeah, yeah, me too. Or with textures, that's also one possibility. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, so. So, um, yeah, what is, uh, what's going on in the community today? Our community is very observant today, I must say. But I can say hello to everyone who, who joined us till now. So we have Luis, we have Marivi, Ravi, uh, Stefan is also here saying hello, my favorite streamers. Oh, that's so nice to hear, Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> we're glad that you were, we're your favorite streamers. Yeah. Well, I mean, we do it so often, two times a week. So you must love something about us. Okay, so um, how do you did you like the examples till now? Would you what would you do here, for example, in this case where we're dealing with this kind of plant? Um, what would you try to emphasize or just uh, correct or add? What's something that you would work on? Yeah, so what I did is uh, you know I tried to add the complementary color to green, which is a pink or magenta and you know make it a bit make it pop a bit more so um, I don't know if this is uh, you know if this was the intention you know maybe if you wanted just to have a green book covered and that might work but if it's like a singular piece I think a bit of color would mm -hmm. help what do you think Sonia? Yeah I think I like it I yeah. mean it looks much more fresh the plant really looks like something that that's green that's alive uh, mixed with the, that, you know, um, tones of green that we saw at the beginning, it was just not popping out, so it was not as present as now. So this is the before, mm -hmm. and this is the now. Mm -hmm. Boom. Okay. All right, so it's a bit more poppy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. it depends. And on artwork um, or a design, it depends what your goal is with it. So it's hard to... It's hard to say, um, you know, to give our best feedback. Yeah, okay, so Ravi said, yes, the, she is Lisa, she or he? I, or, did we already ask if it's, if it's a she or he? We don't know, yeah, we do, it's uh, with names that we cannot, um, that we don't know, it's uh, hard to tell. So you can tell us if you want to be a she or he and we'll address you accordingly. So Ravi said, uh, listening carefully, since this was supposed to be a monochromatic, playing with textures would be better, mm -hmm. okay. maybe. Mm -hmm. Blend, but pink blends uh, well as well. Okay. Okay, so now let's move to the next one. Let's move to the next one. Okay, so we got a small, quick sketch. Um, we're also gonna give a small, quick correction. Yeah, I'm gonna just do a small, quick correction. We're gonna a small, quick sketch. Um, Normally, I would say, you know, take some more time with this one. I mean, I can, I can, I have the feeling that you could, you know, you could do, let's say, you could add more details and do more stuff, but then let's say you just had a little bit of time, and let's say I just have a little bit of time. So let's see what I can do in a very quick time span. How mm -hmm. about that? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna give you a minute. All right. So I would just um, add a little bit of darker here. To emphasize this path, I like this plant here. Okay, so we have now we see the path, now we have the front layer, now we have the back, back layer. So this plant I think is quite cool. I think it should be um, emphasized like this. Mm -hmm. Boom. Okay, and now this um, volcano ish thing 
um, I think the, the, the palm trees should be darker so they stand out you know I know you, you stopped with the volcano texture to make the palm trees visible but I would say maybe you should just like uh, do even less of the volcano thingy you know like even uh, just do the outline look at that mm -hmm. this will uh, this will make it look like it's uh, far away and you know to understand that it is a uh, to understand the layers maybe as well yeah to understand the layers we mm. don't need this uh, we don't need this uh, texture okay so and this your is minute is up all right yeah so this would be my little quick suggestion boom this is the first one and this is the second yep if you like these quick sketches do as many as you can as quickly as you can and that's how you improve on them okay awesome Oh, this is beautifully <laughs> photorealistically drawn. Huh? Oh my god! Right, I had the same reaction. Oh my god! <laughs> it's a photo. It's a photo reference, um, but the drawing is uh, quite nice, nevertheless. Mm. I mean, the drawing is really nice. So beautifully rendered with a lot of details. I like it. Mm -hmm. mm. I like it as well. I uh, the the dark spots are so nicely done mm -hmm. and they really pop up out mm -hmm. um, and I I must say that uh, it's I like it a lot mm -hmm. you know also the parts that are in shape it's a nice uh, composition look good yeah okay what I think okay so this is I mean um, there's not many things I would say here because I, I quite like it. Look at this. This composition is quite nice. So you have your main point of interest is is here. But um, where my eye stops, like when I start watching it, like my eye goes down here and then it stops because it's not so much, it's not led, you know, around. So I think I get have to get the eye to go down and explore. Mm -hmm. um, that would be my suggestion. What, do you, what would you say? Yeah, I I agree. I agree. Or maybe I would add here another layer of vegetation oh, because yeah. it mm -hmm. looks mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. that's, these are the, the clouds in the background. Yeah, this is also a good point. So here another layer of vegetation. Yeah. yeah. And make it dark. Then we'll have it stand out from the clouds. Mm -hmm. So this dark, this dark. Okay. Good points. So is the author present? If the, he or she is, then you can gladly speak up, say, this is mine. Um, you know, that's what I thought when I was doing this. And yeah, you made it worse or you made it better. So, okay, so uh, Shilpa here is saying, I'm just lurking. Do you guys have a favorite <laughs> painting medium? Mm. I'm new to watercolors and struggling with blending. I'd appreciate if you have any tips. Yeah, so watercolors is a great medium uh, to start with, but you need to be patient a bit and blending is something that you need to uh, also just practice a bit more. It also depends on what kind of colors are you using and uh, big role play also the paper and the brushes that you're using because some of the brushes they scrap on the sur surface and that then the same thing happens with the paper. So you have like many kinds of papers that you can use for watercolors. Some are smooth and some have more texture. Um, and what you're searching for, I think it works actually with both papers. Um, but I would probably start, well, I started with the, with the smooth paper that was quite okay for me. So try that out if that helps. Um, and also, I think you, you need to work while the paint is still wet. So when you're trying to blend two colors together or make the transition, um, you need to work fast and not too long. Otherwise you're gonna destroy the, the paper. Yeah, so I think that's much easier if I could show you. So maybe we're gonna do a video about it as well. Uh, but I hope you understood at least a bit what I was trying to explain to you. All right, so now, meanwhile, 
Oh, you adjusted the sketch. I like it. Meanwhile, I adjusted. Let's see. Let's see if the subtle differences I made, uh, the subtle changes I made make a difference. So mm -hmm. this is before. And the boom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. I like it. You might notice that I invented a door here. You know, it wasn't here before. If you're not 100% if you don't 100% want to depict the building as it is, just make up some stuff. I added the door so these dark spots can lead my eye like to the details down here. So, because we start looking always in the uh, bottom top left corner, and um, yeah, I needed to lead the eye around. Okay. Yeah, I suggest that we move on to the next one. Okay. All right. So we got a pen sketch. What do we think about this one? Okay, so let's try to understand what's going on first. So we have a sketch of a tree in the foreground, mm -hmm. and then we have a road, mm -hmm. and in the background we have some mountains, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And there's a person driving a bike. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Okay, so um, what we can, I would here focus on one thing. So I would also suggest that you focus, that you decide on correcting just one thing. Yeah. One is the feeling of depth, mm -hmm. the second one is perspective, mm -hmm. because uh, the the proportions and, you know, how, how everything balances out is also uh, important. Mm -hmm. um, or just, yeah, focusing on on composition or, yeah, there are many aspects and uh, I will just, yeah, what would you like to choose or focus on? I would cho choose the, de the depth aspect because it's the easiest to um, improve in this sketch. Okay. So, yeah, um, the thing is, like, we need to divide this in three kind of layers, like the front layer, you know, like what I'm doing red, then we have this middle layer with the biker, and the back layer with the mountains. Mm -hmm. And I will do that by interchanging light and dark areas. So, dear author, you can totally go take your pencil, and, I mean pen, and go into this sketch, like, catching it, like you, you know, you already did, I like the way you hatch the tree, you know, you're already focused on details. But as many times, um, as we say many times, try to focus on the whole before you go into the details, right? So, like, maybe think about how this all comes together in a smaller sketch and then do the bigger sketch. You know, because right now, look, I will make this darker and this will actually help it differentiate um, differentiate itself from the background so mm -hmm. right now then not right now we have like a frame now we have this biker here and what we need is also to differentiate the biker from the use a bigger brush <laughs> you're almost out of time yeah well I could do all this with a fine brush but uh, um, then we wouldn't have time so this is it this is what yeah. I will suggest doing for this sketch. Okay, Boom. amazing. Yeah, I think this is like a very big uh, improvement in the sense of in the in the depth. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, what do you think, uh, dear viewers? So is there like a, is there um, another way to improve this, or do you can you understand what we're trying to say here? Um, because beautifully detailed sketch, you know, there is already this texture on the trees, but the trick is to step away squint with your eyes and see can I improve something and many times it's like adding more mm -hmm. depth or color to certain areas don't be afraid to color in the whole tree um, and you know make it contrast the layers behind mm -hmm. you know think about layers when you're drawing like a landscape sketch like this mm -hmm. we did a video on that uh, how to draw landscapes and think we explained it there pretty well and you can check it out um, it's I think would it will definitely help you with drawing landscape scene yeah. like this one. Okay, I'm gonna try to find it for you. Yep. Okay, wow, Sonia, then now we're gonna we just get we just got like an acrylic painting here to um, to give feedback on. Mm -hmm. It's a like two are those like killer whales or sharks? Um, apparently seen from above. They look like sharks. Do they? They have like a fin. Yeah. 
maybe. So, anyways, the it looks like they are underwater, right? It's yeah. like a shallow water. The texture is uh, is nice. The composition is interesting. Yeah, what what would you say about this one? Um, I would I would uh, try to make the color richer. Mm -hmm. So if I would would do anything, I would maybe add some uh, like you know this aquamarine blue color, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. just to make it like because of the water mm -hmm. reflecting, and then it was just make it a bit more lively. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is true. And also, right now, it looks like the fishes are swimming above, you know, not below the surface, but on the surface. Yeah, that's you because know? those white lines are like um, like uh, under them, right? They should be above them. Yeah. The white lines of the water um, waves should be above them, so. And then there's one more thing. I would say, like, the composition, it's a bit off to the... You know, like those two, the sharky things, like they're here. Those two shapes like point into something on the edge, into nothing. Actually, what we would want is that they would be like, they would point to the middle or like to the third, like we showed before, to the one of the thirds of the, um, of the composition. So um, something like that would be, I think, much better. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's see what can we do in really fast time about this. So, I will take this, I would copy it over here, and it's not exactly the same, but, uh, you know, it serves a purpose. Then, um, let's see about this here, so we need to adjust this, like, shadows of those sharks. And now, like Sonia said, like we need the white, you know, covering them actually, you know, like this. Now we will get the feeling that they are actually under, underwater. All right. So, uh, like you could draw these waves also in a different style, I think. But uh, yeah, um, it's okay if you draw them like this. Um, you can work on that. You know, they have to be covered with those white waves. And now, like, something turquoise, something like, at least, I don't know, like, maybe, maybe I would go for, you know, something, something like that. Hey, yeah, 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 this is good. Something a bit more turquoise -y. So we have this, you know, maybe this is too much. Like, yeah, something like that to add a bit more depth and richness. To it. Um, all right, so this is it. This would be our suggestion. It's still like a very monochromatic, very calm image. Um, it doesn't have, it doesn't pop in any way. I mean, if you really want to pop, like do like a swimmer here, you know, like if you want it now, if you really want it, you could like do like a red and white kind of. Uh, uh, this thingy also floating around, you know, I don't know how it's called, this ring, you know, that kind of, the, the, the emergency ring or something, and then you can even add a person in there, and the sharks, and now we have drama, and you had a person, and now stuff is going on. So, um, <laughs> yeah, maybe I would add that. This is actually a good idea. Let's look at the before and the after. So, the before was this. So you had a different composition, the sharks were, you know, pushed to the right. And now the after, we did a lot of things. Like we changed the color, we changed the water, and we added a focal element. So tell us how you like this one. And um, yeah, maybe um, if this improved the image. So have a focal point. Have a focal point. That would be the lesson, I would say, um, that you can take away from this one. Yeah. Okay, Ravi also said, excellent, the white cracks on the sharks was so important. Yeah. Yeah, true. I agree. Okay, and now we are going to look at the last one. The last one. Yeah. All right. So before we do, um, what do we have in store for next week? 
We have a Creative Monday coming up on Monday. Yeah. Do we have Creative Monday? Oh, oh, there's going to be a special occasion because Sonia doesn't have my support next week. Yeah. So we decided we're not going to do Creative Monday. Oh, yeah. Instead of that, we're going to work with watercolors. Yes. So um, I'm going to ask you this week, uh, we're going to do a pool and I'm going to let you decide what we're going to do next Monday. And I'm going to be guiding the live stream by myself. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I'm on a... Um, I'm away because of work and I think you're in very good hands with Sonia. So let her know her specialty are watercolors. It's her passion and it's also her passion to help, you know, artists like you succeed. So um, get ready your questions and your watercolors and I think you're going to have a fun evening. Yeah, or for day, sure. Or morning or whatever you come from. You might be, you're going to have a fun 4 a.m. <laughs> What? I don't know. If you're from Australia, you're going to be watching Sonia live at 4 a.m. It's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah. So join us next week for uh, Monday's watercolor session. And yeah, let's try to have some fun. All right. So let's go to the last one of today. And wow, I love it. You, you always seem like the best for the last. I try to keep, uh, keep, you know, like the finish strong. Sweet. All right. So we have like a men, you know, what is called ment mentalizer, someone like with the psychic visualizing powers, making eyeballs float. Um, I think... They look, yeah, they look good. Do you think? I mean, I was just like checking at these eyes and I was just like, wow, this guy is so hot. The eyes are just popping out. You know? It could also be a woman. It could also be a woman, but I mean, it, yeah, maybe the face features are a bit more uh, masculine because of the the bone, the, this the one, jawbone. Yeah, yeah. The, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but anyway, the person looks amazing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, what would we what would you do? So, I think um, if anything, I mean, I would do some things. Why? I mean, you know, I, I sometimes I have like this feeling that we always try to give a feedback yeah. and it's always needs to be added and added and added. And I think that's not necessary all the time. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. Okay, let's say we love it. It's great. If we had, you know, if we would have done it, would we have done anything different? Because I have an idea. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, I would repeat my feeling of that mantra here and I would play with the eyes. I think they're a great potential and we could have one more close and one more far away. How about that? Yeah. So let me just try. And um, I'm interested what you think, Sonia. So maybe we, uh, like, as I do it, maybe we can... Uh, you can see what we've done. Maybe not this one. Maybe let's go for this one. So I will take one of the eyes. I think this one. And I will, you know, make it bigger. So we have this kind of feeling of depth. You know, one eye is floating here up front. And, uh, you know, like that. And then we have another eye. Maybe this one. It's going to be floating more in the back. So we like, you know, it's the eyes are floating around him. You know, like one is in the back. So, and then this one, I think, this one should be a little bit smaller. And we have to move it a little bit to the, a little bit down. Oh. Meanwhile, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. There is a discussion about the, the, the paper uh, the watercolor paper, if the um, if the percentage of cotton matters when using it for watercolors and how heavy should it be, and we are just yeah trying to figure out things. Um, yeah, so it's it's always I mean when you go into the details, it's so so interesting. Um, because 
when you're starting out doing something like a new technique or new medium, you just start out because it makes yeah, because it's fun. And then when you're trying to achieve better results, you also think about the materials. And then and then somehow the 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 choosing the right paper and brushes and the right colors with more pigments and intensity that that matters at one point. Um yeah, and it's so fun. Uh and I like the discussion that's going on right now. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so uh what's going on? It's your... In my side of the... Yeah. So, table. I just, uh, you know, made a little bit... I just added some extra eyes, yeah. basically. And made it like they look more three-dimensional. One is much closer. One mm -hmm. is more far away. I don't know. What do you think about that? Um, but uh, that was the intention mm -hmm. behind it. Anyway, so... Um, yeah. Now let's see the difference. And I'm really interested what the audience thinks if I you know, um, worsened it, or if I made it better. Let's see. Mm -hmm. This is the before. Yeah. And this is the after. Boom. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like the like on the on the face. Mm -hmm. So the light is nice. Added some more light, yeah. yeah. Okay, but what's your opinion? Well, how do you like it? And uh, before you go, you know, if you like this kind of content, uh, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, uh, look at the videos that we did before, Feedback Tuesdays, Feedback Fri Fridays, we did a lot of them. So, uh, yeah, if you would like to learn more about those kind of things, other feedbacks, you can always check other things out. Um, if you have any questions, you can also DM us on Instagram or on our Facebook group called Landscapers. And, of course, Comments are always welcome. You can also ask questions there. Yeah, so that will be it. Thank you for joining us. Leave us feedback and you know what to do. Keep on drawing. And stay creative. Bye-bye.